everyone I don't know why I'm doing that with my hands welcome back so I just finished filming this makeup look I feel like I haven't sat down and filmed a makeup tutorial in a while so I was excited to do this I figured since I've got the big wavy hair going on I wanted to do a big makeup look so I've got a blue smoky eye I show you two lip options I show you this lip option which is a wet n wild mega last lipstick plus I show you a lip option from LA girl lip paint and this is in the color tempt I love this, but as you can see, paired with the blue lip, it was kind of like boom, like right in your face. So I wanted to show you two different lip options in case you don't want to be as wild as I am with your makeup. I don't really have anything to ramble about. You will see this is a full face look. So I did highlighting and I did a lot of highlighting. It's not coming up on camera as much, but I put a lot of highlighter on. You'll see that. I did highlighting, contouring. I did the whole shebang. So if it's too much makeup for you, tone it back. Maybe don't do contouring, don't do highlighting. I just like to go all out and have some fun. So enjoy. Everything is linked down below. Let's jump into it. All right, so first I'm going to start with brows. This is the usual Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. I need to switch up my brow routine because this stuff's starting to dry out and I want to use the actual brow pencil. So just the usual I just take a brush and I fill in the brows nothing new there look at my dog falling asleep in the back you'll see throughout the video he literally falls asleep while standing now I'm gonna go with my Maybelline fit me concealer and I'm going to highlight under the brows just to add a nice highlight color under the brow hairs and I'm just using my finger to rub that in I would like to use a brush for this portion but I can never find a brush that fits perfectly under my eyebrows so I just actually use my finger to blend it in and I feel like the warmth from my finger really helps me to blend it into the skin so I'm just chomping away on my gum there <laughs> time to use our tape I'm just sticking on some tape because I wanted the smoky eye to be really precise and I wanted the lines to be nice and neat so you've probably seen people do this a million times it's amazing Going in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, this is a must for me. I just have really oily skin. This will make your eyeshadow last so much longer than if you used no primer at all. Highly, highly recommend it. Even if you're not oily, if you just know you're going to have a long day, you're on the go, this is going to make your eye look look great. Going in with my Lorac Skinny Black Palette. I love this palette. I featured it in my high-end Haute Look haul. I will link that down below. I'm going to go in with the brown shade. It's just a neutral brown shade. And I'm using my Sephora Blending Brush. I don't know if you guys have tried Sephora's brushes, but they're some of the more affordable brushes to find in Sephora. And I found that this one has held up pretty, pretty nicely and pretty long. So... I like their brushes. You'll see I use another one. And I'm just taking this brush and I am blending all in the crease. You see Coco woke up in the background because I was like screaming his name. Wake up! <laughs> now I'm going with this black shade in the Lorac Skinny Palette. By the way, you guys have probably heard me say this. I'm not a neutrals girl, but I really like that Lorac Palette. The colors are so pigmented. They go on like a gem. I love them. Look at him. He's just falling asleep, literally standing up. He's so lazy. So I'm taking this black shade and I'm putting it right over the brown because I wanted it to be a blend of brown and black in the crease to kind of deepen up the blue shadows. I think there was a song on, so I randomly just started dancing. I think the TV, there was some music on. So funny. All right, so now I'm going in with my NYX White Eyeshadow Base. I love this stuff. Anytime you really want the colors to pop, whatever you're putting on your eye, I always use this as a base. So if I'm using light colors, I'll use white. If I'm using dark colors like black or browns on the lid, I'll use a deep, like a black um, eyeshadow primer. So now I'm going into my Morphe 35B palette, and I forgot my camera died. So the first color I showed you, I put on the outer corner, and you can see this light teal blue color, the one that I just showed you. I am putting that on the middle of the crease, so we're doing a gradient effect. So on the outer corner, there's a darker blue. I'm just taking a dance break. <laughs> and then on the middle of the lid, we're putting a bright teal blue. I really love the pigmentation, and it's even more pigmented because we put down that white base. So I love it. I love colors. So I'm just blending that into the darker color and I'm going to take that same Sephora crease brush and just make sure that everything is nice, nicely blended together. Now I'm going with this lightest blue shade 
that I had. And at first I put that on the inner corner and I didn't like it. So what I did is I took this, well, actually this is the blue shade. So you see me putting on that light blue shade and I look at it and I'm like, ugh, I don't think I like that. I didn't like the way it was looking. It actually looked brighter than what I had on the middle of the lid. That's not what I was going for. So you'll see what I'm going to do is I'm trying to make it work. Like I'm trying to blend it. This is just the reality of filming. You make it as you go. So I was like, you know what? I want it to have a brighter inner corner like what I'm doing right now. So what I did was I took off the light blue and I used the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow. It's a pale pink color. I can't remember the name. I'll link it down below and I put it on the inner corner. Now I'm going with my LA Girl black eyeliner and I'm just lining the lower lash line. So we took off the bright blue on the inner corner and I put in basically a pale bright pink just to make the inner corner look nice and bright. Going in with these Ardell lashes and moving on to the face. So I popped the lashes on. I'm using my Smashbox primer putting it all over the face. I actually received this in my Ipsy subscription box. I really like that Ipsy. If I can find that video I'll link it down below. So I'm just putting that all over the face. Also, this Illa Masca foundation was featured in my Holt Look Haul. I really love this foundation. It's not meant for oily skin. It smells great. I love the way it smells. It smells like sweet cake batter. I got some on my nose. I love smelling it. It literally smells like sweet cake or something. It's really thick. Look at that. It does not move. It's a very thick consistency, high coverage foundation. Just know that if you are oily, you need to use a primer for this because I believe this is not for oily skin. With no primer, I'm literally oily in like 30 minutes after putting this on. With the primer, it lasts a couple of hours, but even then I get really shiny. I just love the finish of it, so I keep using it. Love it. Moving on, I'm going to use my Buxom. I believe this is a lip gloss. I always put this on just to moisturize the lips. It smells minty and it's really thick. I love it. Going with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have not used this in a while and I don't know why because I love it. It goes on. It's great high coverage concealer. It's so easy to blend out. I love it. I need to use it more often. It's one of my favorite high-end concealers. I don't know if that's considered high-end, but you know it's not affordable. So... Putting that under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, on the chin, and we're going to use the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I don't know if they call it a beauty blender. They're sponge to blend this out. I prefer the Beauty Blender, but I do like this because it, the two sides, they have uh, one is pointed, the one I'm using, but the other side is slanted, which is really great when you want to really get under the eyes. So uh, they do different things. I say Beauty Blender is still number one, though. Even though the Beauty Blender is more expensive, I think I still prefer it to this one. So I'm just blending that out with the sponge. Now I'm going to go in contour. I'm using this Blackberry Bronzer. I think this is from Black Radiance. I'm going to take this down the sides of my nose, and then you'll see I'm also going to contour my face, which I rarely ever do, but I wanted to go full glam in this video. So I'm going down the bridge of my nose, Next, I'm going to take my Sephora, I believe this is a contouring brush, and I'm contouring the face. Now, I have, like, no cheekbones. My mom is so lucky. She has, like, these beautiful cheekbones, and I have nothing. So I really should be contouring my face more often. So look at how dark this bronzer is. If you are my skin tone, or even if you're lighter and you want a dramatic contour, I highly suggest this stuff. It is dark. Just be careful. Like, I tend to put too much of it on, you see, and then I, like, have to blend and blend and blend because it is just so dark but I love it it's just this is not for a natural look this is if you're going dramatic okay because you can see how dark that is so I had to cut all the blending out I was literally blending for three minutes so I've blended everything out and I'm going in with my Becca highlighter and I believe this one is topaz now on my skin tone I feel like this gives me a natural highlight I really need to pick up opal because I feel like that would give me more of a dramatic highlight so I'm really caking on the highlighter here. You can't tell because I literally have about four, no, three lights on me, so it washes it out. So I kept looking at the monitor, and I was like, I need more highlights. So now I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and this one is in Gold Deposit. I don't know if they make this anymore. I love it. If they do, I'll link it down below. And I kept caking on the highlighter. It's pretty ridiculous. On camera, it does not look that bright. In real life, I literally look like I was dripped in highlighter. So now I'm going in with this LA Girl lip gloss and first I'm going to line my lips with this LA Girl I think it's a deep purple eyeliner but I use it on the eyes and the lips 
I always overdraw my lips because my lips are teeny weeny. My bottom lip's not that small, but my top lip is very small. So I'm going to use this lip gloss. Now this stuff is glossy. I just love a good glossy lip. I feel like everybody's into matte right now, but can we get some gloss going on? I got some on my tongue and it tasted so bad. It literally tasted like Robitussin and vanilla because it or mint. It has a minty taste. It's very weird. It smells minty, which is nice. So I'm putting this on, and when I looked at it, I was like, does this really go with blue? Not really. I would still rock it, but it's glossy. It's dark purple. This is what it looked like. I was like, eh, I don't know. Let's do a light pink lip. I felt like that would be more complimentary to the blue eyes. The pencil broke, so I'm just going to overline the lips again with that purple liner. And instead, I'm going to go with this pale pink lipstick from Wet n Wild, and I'm just going to fill that in where the liner is and then rub my lips together. And I felt like this complemented the look a lot better. I do love that other lippy, the LA Girl, but just not with blue eyes. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.